Next, we need to load our data from Beamer onto the tool. Go to My Computer and open up the Y drive. Open up your flash drive in another window too. Try sorting by date modified with the most recent files first and scroll down to the folders. Find your Beamer folder in your flash drive. Go to your folder that has the lick files. Let's copy this folder with the lick files and paste it in the Y drive. Here you see that we pasted our folder with the lick files into the Y drive. Go back. Open the job folder within the Y drive. Go back to your Beamer output folder and open the folder called job. You see we're in our job folder in one window and in Y job in the other window. Copy the contents of your job folder and paste it into Y job. Your job folder should look something like this. If you zipped your data, there's one extra step to be careful of. Copy your zipped folder, paste it onto the desktop, Unzip it, and find the unzipped folder. This unzipped folder is not the one you need to paste into Y. Let's open that. This folder here is the one that needs to be pasted into Y. This folder inside your unzipped folder is the one that has all the lick files. So let's copy that folder and paste it into Y. Now it's time to run the exposure. Click Wizardry, Exposure Wizard. Click Update in the bottom left corner. This will get the software to look for our write data that we loaded into the Y drive. It usually takes a little bit of time. Open the general folder and scroll through to find your file. They're listed in alphabetical order. Select it and click Next Step. Now we need to set our exposure parameters. For direct write on wafers, you may provide your own parameters or ask staff for a recommendation. For photo masks, the recommended parameters are kept in a text file on the desktop. Open the appropriate text file and copy the conditions accordingly. Enter the laser power Next is the filter physically out the tool To change the filter, you'll need this hex wrench which you can find in the toolbox next to the tool Open this panel like so
Use the hex wrench to loosen the set screw just enough to take the filter out. Take the filter out, put it down next to the stage, and put yours in. And tighten the set screw. Just enough to secure it. Put the panel back on and close the door to the tool. Set the intensity Set the focus and don't change the exposure count, XY offset, write mode, or focus mode. Click the drop down under automatic centering. If you're going to expose a wafer, select wafer center. If you're exposing a mask, select plate center and start exposure and click OK. The tool will now center the stage, focus the right head, center the sample, and run the exposure. Once the tool writes the first few stripes, you may leave the lab while the tool is running if you'd like. When the write is done, click OK, unload your sample, and you're done. This work was performed at the Singh Center for Nanotechnology at the University of Pennsylvania, a member of the National Nanotechnology Coordinated Infrastructure NNCI, network, which is supported by the National Science Foundation. Thank you.